Hey guys, Lila from the Higgins Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to digitize your artwork without using image trace. So this is a question I get all the time when I'm digitizing watercolor work or um, work that I'd like to have a texture to. Um, no one really knows how to do that. So I'm going to explain to you today how I do that. And um, so hopefully if you guys are making your own logos, you can figure this out and get the, the texture you want in there. Um, as you can see, I have Photoshop and Illustrator open, and I have the Creative Cloud, so it's the newest version as of March 2016. So for our first step, I just took a picture with my phone. Um, I have an iPhone 6S, so it's not as fancy as a DSLR, but as you can see, it, it gets pretty good texture capture here. And you can see it's got a pretty clear shot of this word, so I'm going to digitize the word Pinterest, and this was just done with a watercolor and a brush. Um, so to start, I just want to head up here to image, and I just want to start adjusting the levels. So my goal in this part of the step is to eliminate the um, texture you see in the white part. So as we start just go into I would start with I usually start with brightness or contrast and I just kind of bump that up we're making the whites brighter and we're also by doing this we're bringing up the texture of the watercolor as well for this particular client she wants gray colors so I want to make sure that I desaturate so after I adjust the brightness and contrast I am gonna go into levels and I'm gonna bump up that white even more so I'm gonna do that by dragging this piece right here and as you can see this bar is where your white um, levels are and so you just want to adjust that and you don't want to do it too much because you'll start to lose the lighter color but just at the edge of those you can see it's starting to even out the surrounding areas around the lettering and then if you'd like to make it darker here if she were to want black uh, lettering I could you know deepen that or I can brighten it up as well so the next step, I just want to go into adjustments again and curves. And there's a little bit more white here that I want to take out. So I'm just going to grab this and then start bending it. That's too much. Start bending it down. And that's just going to take out the rest of that white. So then, it's a little too bright, I think. So then when I go into the magic wand tool, I want to set my tolerance pretty low because you don't want to grab too much of your picture or too much of your lettering. And I'm just going to click in that white space. So I just clicked and then you can see it's right around all those pieces and I'm still going to get a lot of texture in there. So then you can start to click in all the little spots as well that you want to include in there. Okay. And then just go ahead and start um, adding the things, other things you don't want in the picture. So I don't need the rest of these words. They just happen to be on the same page that I snapped a picture of them. So I'm just going to go in and, desel or, and select all of the extra stuff I don't want in there. So as soon as you get all of the extra stuff selected that you don't want to stay in your photo, just go ahead and unlock your background and give yourself a new background. And then all you have to do is hit the delete button and you're going to get a very clean piece of your, of your artwork. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and drag it into Illustrator, into a new document. And that's going to import as a smart object that is going to be able to change sizes pretty easily. So when you go in, you're still, you've still preserved the pixels and it's still got the texture, but it can be changed as small or as big as you want it to. So that is basically how I digitize watercolors or pictures artwork that I'd like to save the texture in. So when you image trace, I'll show you the difference here. You would just import the photo and you could do, say, 16 colors. You get this result. 
And as you can see, when you go to expand it, you have all kinds of extra stuff to work with and it just gets so messy compared to our little guy over here. You're not going to have near as much of an issue trying to get that Pinterest word out of there. So you're going to have all these extra little things to deal with. And if you can compare, you can tell the texture is just not as good in the image trace. And so like I said, image trace works great for solid colors and even as you can see like a part of the Facebook up here is all one color. And that still gets your shape, but that does not do well at picking up the texture. So if you're trying to import your watercolors, I definitely recommend um, weeding out the background and then you can import it into Illustrator that way. So I hope that answered your question. If you have any question, any further questions, I would love to answer them. Um, this is a very short tutorial and just kind of the basics of how I get my watercolor onto um, an Illustrator file which can be used in vector format. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.